disastrous first 30 seconds. So hey guys, good afternoon and uh, thank you guys for joining in. We're going to just wait a second before we get um, started. We are going to talk today about do you have a minimum or a maximum mindset? So grab a pen, grab a paper. I got some good nuggets, of course, um, from my favorite book that I'm reading right now. Let me grab it. Hold on. All right. Ooh, you just got to see my messy office. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk today about do you have a minimum or a maximum mindset. And this is uh, inspired by one of the lessons from the book that I am so deep into. And I could have knocked this out like two weeks ago. I'm taking my time with it. I'm really like not only reading it, but I'm rereading it. I'm thinking about it. I'm teaching it. One of the best ways to learn, by the way, is to teach. In fact, John Maxwell said, the uh, the lesson is great when you read it, but you don't get it, like it doesn't go into you until you give it away, right? Until you teach it to someone else. So I figured, you know, lunch is always a great time to um, maybe do some personal development while you're eating. You can watch these in the future. So, you know, welcome to Lunch and Learn Episode 9, right? This is so much fun. So let's get right into it. Um, and feel free to tag somebody to uh, that needs this and... Um, you know, in the future, this becomes a video not only my Facebook, but I also have a YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash create wealth with Tara. And all the episodes one through eight are on there. And so uh, if you want to subscribe, you'll get notified every time a new episode is there. So you can watch it at your convenience or at your lunchtime because I know that my lunchtime is not lunchtime anywhere else in the world. In fact, it's dinner time in the UK. So, all right. So let's talk about. Um, you know, the minimum to maximum mindset. And I really want you guys to, to think about this. Um, when you joined your current company, did you ask what the minimum to get started was? Or did you ask for like the, the highest package? See, I, I always buy the highest package because my mindset is I'm not going to do anything half, halfway, right? My mindset is I do it all the way or why do it at all? So, you know, they, you know, the funny little saying in network marketing is only the people at the top make money. Excellent. Thank you for giving me the exact directions of where I want to go. If all the people at the top make money, well, then it stands to reason that I'll just go and get to the top. And so that's been my mindset since I started network marketing, right? Just go to the top. So I've always had a maximum mindset. So when I got started in my current company a year ago, I didn't say what's the least I could, you know, and nobody on my team would have known what I joined at because I was the founder of my team. But I joined at the highest package. Why? Because I wanted the most amount of product, right? I wanted the most amount of compensation. I knew that that little investment was a drop in the bucket to what I was going to create because my mindset is I'm going to top. At the top, the people are making one, two million dollars a year right now. And that's a company that it's just kind of in its smaller infancy stages. So, I mean, I, I put on, you know, having three to four million dollars a year. So, what's a $1,200 investment, right? So, um, you know, kind of a check up from the neck up. I mean, do you, do you always do the minimum, right? If, you're, if your sponsor or your enroller says, make a list of 100, do you make a list of 100? Or do you make a list so big that, you know, you need a new journal for it, right? You know, the bottom line is, um, don't do the minimum, so the minimum won't get you anywhere, and I, I just have to say that um, for those of you, you guys have been following me for a week and a half or so now, that um, I read a lot, I learn a lot, I study a lot, and this book is amazing. It's called The Master Key to Riches by Napoleon Hill, and it's one of his best books ever, and basically he talks about the old principle of going the extra mile, and you know... So many people go to work at eight o'clock and you know they you know or nine o'clock and t quitting time is um, five five o'clock and they're out of here five o'clock five o one I'm out of here right that's a minimum mindset so do you wait along for your upline to host calls or for somebody to do a meeting and you know it's funny because I I've always had the mindset that this is my business, right? And MLM, the cool thing is, is you're in business for yourself but not for yourself, right? And so you have to have the mindset that you gotta do it. 
So don't wait around for someone to do a call or someone to do a meeting. Grab the information and do it yourself, right? You have to, you have to go the extra mile because the people at the top, they didn't sit around waiting for others to build their business for them. You know, um, a couple of couple of things, and I'm just looking over here at my notes. Um, have the mindset that you're indispensable. Have the mindset that you're valuable. Increase your value. You know, studying and learning and growing, and more importantly, the highest form of influence is moral authority, walking your walk, right? Doing what you do. I don't sit here after nine and a half years in the industry teaching from things I've read in books of theories. I am teaching you from nine and a half years of experience of building teams in 12 different countries of hundreds of thousands of people who've probably done cumulatively of over $170 million in sales. That's how I can come to you and teach you what to do, right? So the first thing you can do to be valuable is actually go learn the lessons. Go do what it needs to do. Like now, it's a little easier, sure, after almost 10 years, of course it's a little easier. I've built my brand, I've built value, I've given, and I've given, and I've given, and I've given, and I've sewed into people, and I've traveled the world, and I've made them in sacrifice, and I have you know, trained my team, and I have done the work over and over again. So yes, it's a little bit easier now, but I paid the price. And you have to know that the law of sowing and reaping says that you're going to have to pay the price in full up front with no expectations and only then will you actually get what you want you know it's funny because the mindset let's um think about your company right now think about the six figure rank right that's the pinnacle and most people if they ever got to just six figures a year they would have everything they ever needed right because let's be honest let's talk numbers the the dual income household in the united states average is fifty five thousand a year right only 2.7 percent of all households make a combined income of $250,000 a year or more. So let's be real that you know $10,000 a month or even $8,500 a month, which is a six-figure income, that is a, it would change 97% of people's life, right? So um, I hear all the time, you know, like I'm just going to call it, we'll call it um, super intergalactic, rank so your rank that's a six-figure income and you know what that is in your company super intergalactic rank you say okay well Tara when I'm a super intergalactic rank I will do super intergalactic activities I will do more calls I will do more meetings I will read more I will teach more I will travel more newsflash you will never get to super intergalactic rank until you do more calls do more meetings Travel more, you know, of course, I always say build local first. So that's a whole nother talk show, but build local first. But until you do those activities, that's what gets you to super intergalactic ranks. See, everyone has this mindset. And I don't know where we all get it that, you know, we're entitled to something, right? But you got to do before you're going to have, right? And so everyone has it like just opposite. They think like, oh, well, I'll just do the minimum, and then when I get there, then I'll do the maximum. Mm, that's not the way it works. So do more than you're paid for, right? Have big vision. Be very serious. Strive to be the best. Like, I want you every day to imagine that you're the leader of your team, that you're the best on your team, that you are, you know, leading people on your team. Have that vision every single day. Have that mindset every single day. And ask yourself, do people want to join people who do the minimum or do people want to join people who do the maximum? What kind of person do you want to enroll with? Do you want to enroll with Lazy Larry or do you want to enroll with the person who's going to the top, that does the extra, that shows up more, that makes more call, that has a value of a mindset, that gives value to their people, that is willing to do whatever it takes? Which person do you want to join with? Newsflash, if if you want people to join you, you have to be that person. See, it's crazy. The people with a minimum mindset, they have, a, they, they have this theory that the MLM fairy is going to drop these whales into their downline. Here's the bottom line is you attract what you are. You want a whale in your downline? You better be that whale because people aren't attracted to lazy people. Nobody wants to come in and make you rich. I hate to tell you that, but you got to do more. And when you do more and you have a maximum mindset, 
and you are willing to go the extra mile and you're willing to show up and you're willing to pay the price and you're willing to go to the meetings and you're willing to learn and you're willing to fail and you're willing to you know grow and grow and grow only then will people be attracted to working with you see I was terrible at first, right? And, I, and so, you know, well, how did you do in the beginning, right? Because I had no story. And remember, at one point, we were all either not in the industry or at the very bottom. Like, so how did I do it? I became a person of value by inviting people to look at other people and say, hey, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to do it. And here's what I know. This lady, this half an hour for me is making $300,000 a year. We're going to go find out and we're going to learn. And every week I would go and learn and go and learn and go and learn and go and learn. I didn't say, Oh, I've already been to our meeting six times. I'm not going to go again. I went again and I went again and I went again and I went again and I went again. And then I said, okay, I got it. I got three pages of notes. She says the same thing every time. And by the way, if you notice, if you're, if you're, if your leaders are doing it right, watch them. You, they're going to say the same thing every time on a, on a launch call or a three way call or a webinar. I say the same thing every time. In fact, I have a, a script. So I give my script to everybody on my team who wants it because I want you to go and do what I do because when you do what I do, you will have what I have. I've just done it more times than you because I don't have a minimum mentality. I said, I've got to, if it's to be, it's up to me, right? You know, the cool thing about MLM is if you break out of the, the minimum mindset was, by the way, an employee mindset. If you break out of that, you will realize that sky's the limit, especially for women, especially for us mom. Hey, Chris. Hey, honey. How much is my best year in network marketing? Okay. I didn't know this. He corrected me the other day. My best ne year in network marketing, I made $897,000. Where else is a mom of three you know, going to make that kind of money without a law degree or an invention or being a surgeon. Like, let's be clear that I was never going to make that in mortgage. I was never going to make that unless I was working a hundred hours a week and I had zero time. And I, I don't even know how it would have taken me years. I don't even know if I would have ever made that. I was making 150 grand a year and I was working my tail off. So where else am I going to get that kind of money? Um, so there's no glass ceiling. And when you realize that, what I learned early on is like, this is, there's so much possible. There's so much. I mean, people are making millions of dollars. Figure it out. But so many people think they're not worth that because they look at their, what their value is and how much they're getting paid by their employer. Well, you're getting paid exactly what you're worth, right? But here's the good news is you can change your worth and your value at any time. Here's a couple benefits of, um, of going the extra mile. Number one is uh, you'll gain confidence when you go and do more, right? Imagine if you read more and even if you had a small little team of five people, if you poured into that team and said, look, I just learned this and taught them that or, hey, I just did this or I had this script or I did this method and I got people to sign up, right? Go and learn how to do something and then you teach somebody, you're upping your value. And when you teach somebody on your team to do something, that earns you money. So you have to become valuable for your downline, right? So if you're the leader of your team, follow the leader's upline and watch what they do, do what they do. And when you do what they do and you have the same success, then now you're ready to go teach people how to do what you've done. But you're not going to just not do anything and bring people and say, oh, just keep watching her. My paycheck will keep going up if you keep bringing to me. But unless you start doing what I do and, and taking the reins on your team, you'll make money, but you'll never go all the way to the top. And some people are okay with that. It's fine. Some people are okay with having a, a proactive mindset. They're proactive instead of reactive. I mean, they're reactive instead of proactive, meaning, well, I posted on Facebook. Well, I told my best friend I was doing this and she didn't beg the link out of me. I showed this video and they didn't throw their credit card at me. And that's the end of the story. I mean, go back to the follow-up episode and people are not sitting there waiting to buy your product and join your opportunity. They're just not, right? You've got to show them the value that would add to their lifetime, uh, their life and by being a product user or a service user or a distributor on your team, what it can mean for them. People are all tuned into one radio station. Don't ever forget this. It's W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? You got to show your customer what's in it for them or they're not going to buy your product. So do more than you're paid for. Um, 
do you make calls when you feel like it or do you make calls every chance you get, right? When I was working full time with you know, nine and a half years ago with two small kids, my life was hectic. I didn't have much time. But I had lunch times and I had driving to get my kids and I had the evenings after they went to bed and I took one to two evenings and was in living rooms. I did what I could. You know, I wish I had more time. I, I you know, I would have done more. And so then when I quit my job, my goal was to do more, right? I, I told my husband, I'm not quitting to do nothing. And then I started filling those times. I started having daytime meetings. I started literally having meetings at 11 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the afternoon. And I can't believe like one week, like 20 people showed up, like opportunity meetings. Because I was willing to just keep filling my schedule. And that's how I got to 35,000 a month in my first you know, year in network marketing because I just kept doing more. And when I freed up my time, I did more. And then I got more time and I did more. Right? It, is, it will be hard before it's easy. If you, if you have kids or you have a job or you have responsibilities and you add this on to them, yes, it will be. But hopefully um, you can get to where you can replace that income in a, a reasonable amount of time and then you'll have more time to do this. You know, but don't wait around for anyone. Don't, it, don't wait around for anyone to build your business. Take the reins. Do it yourself. You ever notice that the people that are doing the calls and the webinars and the presentations are the ones that are making the most money? That is not a coincidence. I promise you, it's not a coincidence. That's, that's not. So what can you do? You can increase your value. Um, you know, there is more wealth and opportunities with the internet and social media and apps and businesses and all the advances in technology and science and nutrition and all these industries that are booming. You know, wellness is booming. Technology is booming. Um, everything's booming. There's more opportunities now than any time in history to gain wealth. But... You're not going to get it if you're looking for shortcuts. You're not going to get it if you're wishing. Like I'll tell you right now, there is no MLM fairy going to drop people in your downline. You got to find them. You got to recruit them. You got to train them. I mean, you will recruit what you are. So go be a person of value. Be a person of vision. Be a person that goes the extra mile. Be the person that you know gets a new person and pours into them. I mean, man, I was I was like glue on my people. I got I got one girl and I literally ran with her for 90 days straight. But guess what? She was a six-figure income in two companies with me because I poured into her. I got one good girl and I ran her to thousands of people. Then I got two other guys or two other people and I ran them. Three people helped me make over half a million dollars in my first company. Three. Not 300, not 3,000. Three. You got to pour into people. You got to go the extra mile. I didn't say you know, I already was out there last week and the week before and the week before that, I went out again and I went out again until she said, I got this. And then she started doing what I did and then she started being in front of people and then she started having the results I had and started making the income. So you've got to do it. You've got to go the extra mile for people. Um, you've got to do it up front and you can't quit when you don't see immediate results. You know, I'll say this probably almost every call that it is not an even playing field. Network marketing is not a level playing field. You know, this is a, a people business where you're marketing to your network. If you have no influence or you have a quitting personality or you have a very like um, argumentative personality or something like you got to be a people person. You got to love people. You got to want to help people because this is a personal development business wrapped around products, right? Sure, there's better products out there for 100%. They're, all products are not created equal. But at the end of the day, this is a people business and you can't do this if you don't like people and liking people and loving people means wanting the best for them, right? I, I sacrifice my team because I love my team and I love what we're doing together and I love what we're accomplishing together. You've got to love people. Um, but stop looking for breaks. There is no luck. No one's going to do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. You got to learn how to invite people. The great news about network marketing is there are always people in your upline and there are always videos and, and tools that you just have to get people to, but you always have to, you have to do the inviting and that's where it comes in is, is the most important thing you can do is have a maximum mindset, right? Um, I don't want to see you make a list of 50. Gosh, if I give you a billion dollars to throw your next birthday party, would you have more than 50 people there? Of course you would, right? Um, doing the extra mile leads to mental growth. You'll, always, you'll also get physical skills. You'll, you'll have perfections in many forms. You'll increase your earning potential, right? So even if you're not having the immediate results by learning and growing and doing, making calls, finding out what people say, learning how to do the presentation, um, learning how to, you know, intelligently share your products and your services, 
eventually you're going to get good. You know, someone told me that uh, you're a natural. I'm like, I'm not a natural. I've said this conversation a thousand times in the last year. If I don't sound good after a thousand times, I might want to rethink the industry I'm in, right? You can sound like a natural if you do more. I haven't had that conversation 30 times. I've had it a thousand times, right? I have it all day, every day. Great thing about MLM is it's like Groundhog Day. I want to uh, share a story with you. This is such a great story. And, uh, you know, this is just a little bit about going the extra mile. And it just really, it really exemplifies um, how little it takes, how little it takes to be extraordinary. How little of an effort you can do right now. Like, these lunch and learns, man, this is episode nine and I already have so much positivity and people calling me and I just did it because I, a labor of love because I love what I do. And it says, you know, he says, find your definite of purpose. What are your gifts? What can I do? Right? Instead of thinking, what can I, what can I do? And I'm like, I could go and every day teach people for a half an hour. I can do that. Right? So this is what inspired the lunch and learn. So um, there's a story. It's so great. Um, then, of course, this book was written in 1945. So um, there was a man, and his name was Carol Downs. Um, oh, sorry. There was a man named Carol Downs. He was a bank worker. He was like, today's wage is probably 10 to 12 bucks an hour, right? He was an under official at the bank. And this guy named Mr. Durant, some, some, some king of like automobiles, came in uh, late and no one would serve him. And he says, you know, I'll serve you. And he made him feel amazing. Just just being kind. Just saying, you know, it's late, but I don't mind helping you out. You're, you're a customer of the bank. And he didn't know who he was at the time. And so he, he did this favor. And so the next day, Mr. Durant went back to the bank and asked Mr. Downs to come to his office. And he says, uh, there's a position. It's very low paying, um, but I would love for you to come. And um, there's other 100 people like you, and it's 8.30 to 5.30. Salary was modest. And he says at the very end of the first day, the very end of the first day, the first day, Mr. Downs noticed that everyone grabbed his hat and coat and made a rush for the door. He sat down and watched this. At 5.30, he watched everybody leave the office. And then Mr. Durant, 15 minutes later, came out and saw him and said, what are you doing here? It's 5.30. He says, well, yeah. He goes, well, everyone's home. You don't have to work here. I'm not paying you anymore. He said, that's fine. He goes, well, why are you here? He says, uh, I didn't want to wish to run over in the, the rush. And I thought, what if you need something? And he said, well, maybe go find me a pencil. And he's like, okay. Thank you. Good night. And he goes and shuts his door. The next night at quitting time, Downs remained at his desk again. This time, Mr. Uh, Durant comes out of the office and says, I understand that quitting time. Oh, he says, why are you here again? And he says, well, I understand it's quitting time for others, but I have heard no one say that I have to leave this office. And so I'm going to stay and I choose to remain in service of you. And he says, well, what an unusual hope. Where did you get that idea? He says, I don't know. I just watched everybody leave every day. And I thought, well, you're still here. What if you need somebody? And he says, okay, well, you're wasting your time, but go ahead. And every month, every day, month over month over month over month, he walked out of the office to see him there. Now, did this take skill? No. Did it take intelligence? No. It was 15 minutes a day. And because that, he said, uh, hey, I've got an opportunity. And I, he sent him to some you know, job. And he says, and instead of saying, well, I don't know anything about machinery and all this, he just said, I'll figure it out. Bottom line is, he completed a project that he knew nothing about. And then he said, well, did you learn anything about machinery? He said, no, but I just found the people and I helped them. And they did it. Bottom line is, the following 10 years of association with Mr. Durant was worth between 10 and $12 million to Carol Downs. Now, this is 1945. That's 100 to $120 million today. I looked the, the exchange rate up. For a current rate of inflation, that man made over $100 million because he was an uneducated bank teller with a positive attitude that just got himself in front of somebody to be of service. He wasn't paid for it. He wasn't asked to do it. No one told him to do it. And because he got himself in situations, now did it take anything? It cost him 15 minutes a day and it changed his life. So I have to ask you, what are you doing? Are you doing the minimum? Or do you have a positive mental attitude in saying, what more can I do, right? What else is possible? What else do people need? 
if you're the one that's taking, meaning you're letting everyone else do the meetings, you're letting everyone else do the PowerPoints, you're letting everyone else do the calls, you're letting everyone else schedule their time, you're letting everyone else travel, you're letting everyone else get uncomfortable, you're doing the minimum. You want to be a leader, you do what leaders do. Just watch them. We're not hiding from you, I promise. I will tell everybody any day what I'm doing. And the people, time after time after time after time again, when they come in and they take charge of their team and they lead, I watch them skyrocket to the top. Like I know Michelle, you're on this, you know, Michelle came into my team on September 1st, took charge, did 72 presentations via web and earned $6,400 her first month and a trip to Hawaii. She didn't sit around waiting for us. In fact, her sponsor called me and she's like, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm not helping. She's not asking me for help. I said, let her go. She's being a leader. We want a thousand more of you, Michelle. And she's being paid as a leader. You see, so she doesn't have the minimum mentality. She wasn't sitting here going, okay, you guys are my leaders. Do it all for me. Now we're happy to do it. Then I'm happy to help her and I'm happy to join in. I kind of feel like I want to be a part of this because it's so exciting because of what she's creating. So you have to ask yourself every day, can you do more? Of course you can. Of course you can. So uh, today, are you going to do the minimum or are you going to do the maximum? Are you going to just make your five phone calls or your two phone calls or whatever your goal is? Or are you going to call your face off? How bad do you want it? How much do you believe in your products or services? How much do you want to be in front of people? Because I made a commitment in my first company. I said, I don't really know what to do, but I learned. And my commitment was I will be in a living room every single week. Every single week until I'm in income. But I, I, I didn't stop there. I got to 10,000 a month, then 15,000 a month, and 20,000 a month, and 25,000 a month, and 30,000 a month, and 35,000 a month. And the first time I missed being in a living room with my whiteboard and my video and my little home that made notes, the first time was when I went on the cruise that the company said, and you know what happened? What if Tara, nobody wants me in their living room? I called my face off until I said, will you fill your living room? And sometimes there was two people in there going the extra mile, right? You've got to do more and you have plenty of time to do more. You do. You do. Don't, don't say you don't have time. We all have time. I, 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 I started using that, you know, excuse a long time. I don't have time. Oh, really? I do. I do have time. I'm not making time. And if your legacy is important to you and you really want to change lives and you really want to be at that super intergalactic, you know, rank, you know what to do. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it. And if you apply the principle that you just do a little bit more every day, right? Eric Worre taught us uh, at our, you know, a, a last event. He says, if you do 1% extra a day in a hundred days, that's a hundred percent more effort. Just increase it by 1%. If you normally make two phone calls, make three. And then the next, make, next week, make four. But Tara, I don't know who to call. Figure it out. Go meet people. Keep asking your friends. Hey, you still don't know anybody that's overweight or whatever your product is. You still don't know anybody wants this. You still don't know anybody wants to make extra money. You still don't know anybody like, you know, don't overthink it. Just do something. You know, I challenge you every single day. If you have a company video, I'm going to challenge you this. I want you guys to all go do this. Grab 10 names out of your phone book and say, if, if I send you a video, will you watch it? What friends, and I'm like, I just watched, I just saw the most incredible video. If I send it to you, will you watch it? It's X amount of minutes. And just see what they say. I guarantee at least one person will watch your video. Probably five of them out of curiosity, right? And send it to 10 people who have not watched it yet. And then just call them after they watch it and say, what did you think? I have a gentleman who did this and won a, a trip to Cancun for two. And one was one of the top producers in my company and my team because he just asked people. He says, hey, if I send you a video, will you watch it? And they said, Sure. He sent it to him and they called me like, did it blow your mind? Yeah, tell me more. And he signed up customers and he signed up distributors all because he said, like, let's not overthink this. You know, one of my favorite stories in Go For No, uh, I thought it was sitting here. Go For No is one of my favorite books of all time. It's uh, such a great little book that you can knock out in like, seriously, like an hour. And it will have probably the biggest impact on uh, on uh, your your business, right? So Go For No. There was an insurance company that was failing miserably, like failing, 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 sales were plummeting. So they hired a consultant team to come in and say, you know, what was going wrong? And he said, the consultant team after a week said, 
you're simply not making enough contacts. And they're like, that's ridiculous. Our salespeople are out all day, every day. And they said, no, we sent a team around and we knocked on doors. And the, in, the, in the world of sales and anybody who's been in sales, you know, especially cold market or whatever, you never lead with anything negative, right? You never say like, you don't, you don't want to buy something from me, do you? Because then all of a sudden the person's like, yes, no, I don't want to buy something for you. And all they did was send out people from eight to, you know, for eight hours a day for a whole week, knocking on doors and there was insurance and they, when someone answered the door, they asked him one question. Nobody needs insurance in the house, do they? And he said, just doing that, the sales skyrocketed, the company was saved. So it doesn't matter what you say, you've got to do something. So figure out what your message is, figure out what your tool is or your video is or whatever, and just do more of it. Do more. Until you are where you're at, and I don't know where that is because I don't have a finish line. Like I said, I'm never going to say, when am I going to get there? I'm going to say to myself every day, how far can I go? How far can we take this company? How far can I take my team? How They're going to have to create a literally an intergalactic overlord, global, platinum, super dipple dip, ambassador, diamond, platinum for me. That's what I think. That's mindset of maximum. So everyone knows if they have a minimum or maximum, you know, mindset by what you do or what you don't do. You have to determine that for yourself and you have to decide, am I going to stay like that or am I going to change my mindset? I promise you there's no downside from doing more. People want to follow people with a maximum mindset. People don't want to follow lazy people. People don't want to follow someone that doesn't know the comp plan. People don't want to follow someone or join someone that doesn't know their, you know, what their product does or their service does or how to build a business. People don't want to follow people who don't know what they're doing because then they're going to get rookie results. You know, there is no breaks. There is no shortcut. The road to success is uphill all the way and you're not going to get there doing the minimum. If you do the minimum, you'll be paid the minimum. If you do the maximum, you'll be paid the maximum. It is a mindset. It's not a skill set. All the skills you need in network marketing be learned. It is a mindset. You change your mindset, you do a little bit more, and you will change your life. So any questions um, that you guys have for me, I will wait because I know there's about a 60 second delay and I'm happy to do some Q&A for, you know, about 10, 15 minutes for you guys. You like the lesson today? Is everybody ready to give it their all and, and be a big thinker and do more and be more and have more? Are you ready to, to be a maximum mindset? All right. Um, just a reminder while you guys are um, thinking of your questions that to subscribe to the YouTube so you never miss an episode, I'm gonna be putting out dozens and dozens and dozens of those. These are my passion. I'm always gonna keep the content fresh for you guys. I've always been thoughtful and I've never made so many notes because I wanna be prepared for you. I wanna show it for you guys. I really wanna pour into you guys and really help you and I got the most amazing message today. I, ho I hope she doesn't mind if I read it. I won't, I won't say who it was but I literally got the nicest message that I have gotten a long time. Um, and I'll read it to you as soon as my Facebook gets up. So let me get Facebook. And um, yes, thank you. I'm enjoying doing it. Like I'm telling you, this is my this is my jam. This is what makes my heart sing, right? Doing it, doing the network marketing and also just teaching people because uh, you know, we have a better way. And if we can Elevate this industry. We can certainly change a lot of lives. Okay, so I woke up to this message and it just literally made my whole day better. It said, all right, whoops, sorry, give me a second. Let me move it because I, I can't read it when I'm, all right. Oops, I almost, I almost killed the video. Okay, so, okay, we're still here. So she said, good morning, Tara. I just want to thank you for your commitment to excellence as a leader. I'm addicted to you. You are my personal development right now. Every time I listen to your videos, I get the affirmation that I am. Um, so this is how my day is starting. I'm taking the right action and your video about da 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 changed my feelings about network marketing and I feel it's like it's very teachable anyway. I'm going to be a millionaire and I'm well on my way. So it's like just know that going the extra mile, you're going to impact lives. You know, I'm impacting my own life. I'm seeing how far I can go. But to know that I'm taking other people with me, that's that's the true, that's one of the true riches of life is 
giving back, you know, going there and getting there yourself and getting back. So, um, all right. So do we have any questions today? Scarcity or mindset? I choose the latter. Yeah, always choose abundance for sure. Absolutely. And all right, cool. So again, today we were talking about a minimum mindset versus a maximum mindset. It's a decision. You can do more. You can be more. You can have more. You can go further than you ever imagined. You just have to stop being a employee mindset. You have to break into entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs, the spirit of an entrepreneur is sky is the limit, you guys. So stop thinking I'm getting paid a certain amount and doing my time and punching my clock and going home and wanting to escape from work. I love what I do so much that I don't want to escape from my business. I want to do it over and over again. I want to do it all day every day except for when I'm spending time with my family. So this is a, you will go so much further but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you love, right? And when you do what you love, you'll have the maximum mindset. So if you are having a minimum mindset, you might kind of evaluate, are you really doing what you love? Because I do what I love, I wanna do it all day, every day, to the best of my ability, because I know it's gonna lead to lives changed. So if you are doing the minimum, which is a very employee mindset thing, are you really doing what you wanna do? Are you called, are you feeling, are you feeling fulfilled by, your job, by your business, right? If you're not, then you need to talk about, you know, how can I, what can I do to feel fulfilled? So, all right, I'm not seeing any questions, last chance. You guys enjoy this lesson today? I'm already starting to work on uh, tomorrow's. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do, but it's gonna be awesome. I was sitting at the salon this morning for three hours and I would typed up like three pages of notes for you guys, because I really wanted to, I really wanted to get this valuable lesson to you. Um, all right, well, gosh, no questions. Feel free to hit me up on Facebook anytime you want. And uh, I want to thank you. And please feel free to share this with somebody in your team who needs it. And again, um, all the episodes are on my YouTube channel, Create Wealth with Tara. And I will have this up shortly. And I appreciate all of you for tuning in to Lunch and Learn, Episode 9. And I will see you tomorrow for Episode 10. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. That was fun. Thank you. Um, all my team, all my friends. Love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.